welcome to Tiddlybops. <laughs> Hi, Tiddlyboppers. Today we are reading another Christmas story. Ooh, it's getting so close. This one is called Grumpy Badger's Christmas. It is written by Paul Bright and illustrated by Jane Chapman. And the publisher is Little Tiger. Grumpy Badger's Christmas. It was almost Christmas and the forest was a flurry of activity. The animals were bustling here and there, putting up the Christmas tree, wrapping presents, making tasty puddings and pies. Oh, yum, yum. While the young ones scampered about, squeaking with excitement. Oh, look, the little mice are putting their Christmas tree up. And I wonder if they're having a lot of trouble sorting out the Christmas lights like we usually do every year. Oh, look, and this one's putting a wreath on the door. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Everybody was looking forward to Christmas. Well, almost everybody. Can you see who's not looking forward to Christmas? Can you look in this window over here? Oh, grumpy Badger is staring at them all. I don't think he looks very happy at all. Grumpy Badger looked out of his window and scowled. Happy Christmas, shouted Squirrel. Happy Christmas, bah, he shouted back. What piffle! I am a sensible creature and I sleep through the cold winter. Now I am going to bed until the spring and if anyone wakes me up I shall be very, very grumpy. And with that, he pulled his window shut with a clunk. Oh, no. I think he already sounds very grumpy. Everyone else is trying to have a good time. But some animals do sleep through winter. Badgers and birds are just some of them. It's called hibernation. They don't like the cold. They go to sleep and wake up and it's warm again. Goodness me, I would hate to do that. I would hate to miss out on Christmas. I love Christmas. Now, Grumpy Badger knew he would be hungry when he woke up, so he checked his larder. There were puddings and pickles and pastries, packets of ham and cheese, crispy crackers, jars of fruit and sticky sweet jams. That should do, he said. And then he filled his hot water bottle and climbed into bed. Oh, he looks very comfy there. And look, he actually looks like he's smiling. He just closed his eyes when there was a knock at the door. <gasps> it was Mole. Oh, look at little Mole. Happy Christmas, Mr Badger, he said timidly. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been trying to put lights on the Christmas tree, but it's just too big. Could I please borrow your ladder? Oh, he must have been very brave going asking the grumpy badger that, because look at his face, he looks very grumpy. And look, there's a ladder here, and he didn't just take it, he asked nicely. Christmas tree, spluttered grumpy badger. Piffle and double piffle, Christmas is for sleeping. And that's what I'm trying to do. And he closed the door with a bang. Oh dear. Sorry, we won't keep up, Grumpy Badger. Oh dear, I think one of the children have had a rip at this book. Sorry everyone. But that's okay, we can mend it later. Bah! Huffed Grumpy Badger climbing into bed. Borrow my ladder indeed. All I want is a bit of peace and quiet and leave me alone. He peeked under his bed where he'd put more food for springtime. Candies and cookies and cherry cupcakes. Oh, wow, they look so delicious. Then he cuddled down in his big warm eider down and he was just starting to snore. <sighs> Oh, 
when there was another knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, he doesn't look very impressed with that, does he? This time, it was Squirrel. Hello, Badger, he said cheerily. I thought you were Christmas present. Christmas present, snorted Grumpy Badger. Piffle and triffle, piffle. I don't like presents, I don't like Christmas, and all I want is a little piece. And he shut the door with a crash. Oh no, Squirrel was being all so nice. And look at Grumpy Badger's face, he really is grumpy. And when he slammed the door, a spider swung at his... And I think that lantern nearly fell off the shelf. I don't think Grumpy Badger is in a very good mood at all. Look at his face. Now Grumpy Badger was really grumpy. To cheer himself up, he thought about the bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade he had in the cellar. Then he lay down and closed his eyes, but he couldn't sleep. His head felt a little chilly. What do you do when you're lying down trying to sleep? I try and think of nice things. At the moment, I keep thinking about Father Christmas and his sleigh and what presents I might get, in the hope that when I do fall asleep, I'll dream of nice things. <gasps> Suddenly, there was a loud banging at the door. <gasps> bang, bang, bang. Oh dear, he is not a happy, happy badger. <gasps> oh, what is it now? Grumpy Badger sighed. He was about as tired and grumpy as a badger could be. Oh, Badger, panted Rabbit. Help! It's, it's poor Mole. He's stuck at the top of the Christmas tree. Come, come quickly! <sighs> Piffle, shouted Grumpy Badger. And triple Piffle with knobs on. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? And he slammed the door so hard that the whole house shook. Slam! And look, I was right. That lantern didn't last very long and the poor spider's gone. And he looks like he's kicked that door. He is so grumpy. He's even broken his shelf and this walking stick's fallen off. Oh dear, 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 Badger. I wonder if there's anything at all that could cheer him up. Well, at last, Grumpy Badger fell asleep. But soon he was tossing and turning and wriggling and squirming. He was dreaming of Mole dangling by one tiny paw at the top of an enormous Christmas tree. And Mole was trembling. Mole was losing his grip. And Mole was about to fall. No! screamed Grumpy Badger, sitting bolt upright and suddenly he was wide awake what have i done he yelled he jumped out of bed grabbed his ladder and dashed into the street oh dear now if he'd have given the little one the ladder in the first place more wouldn't have been stuck at the top of the tree would he and maybe by now grumpy badger would have been fast asleep Grumpy Badger raced up to the Christmas tree. Hold on, Mole! He cried. Oh, now look at Mole up there. He really is going to fall soon. He scrambled up the ladder, scooped Mole gently into his arms and helped him down to the ground. I'm so sorry, said Grumpy Badger. What a grumpy old fool I've been. You're a hero now, said Squirrel, and he gave Badger back his Christmas present. A soft, fluffy nightcap. Oh, that would have kept him warm in his bed, wouldn't it? But I've been so grouchy, said Grumpy Badger. What can I do to make things better? And then he knew. Oh, what do you think he's going to do? Oh, wow. Badger. Christmas party. Yay. It was the best ever. There were puddings and pickles and pastry, cheeses and hams and sticky sweet jams, cookies and cupcakes and bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade. They jigged and they jived and they joked and they laughed late until the night. Oh, wow, they're having a great time. Just goes to show you, Badger can be very nice, really. He was just a bit grumpy and tired, 
I think we all get a bit grumpy when we're tired, don't we? But we'd have to try and be nice to people. Happy Christmas, everyone, Badger cried. And if you don't all come to my party next year, I shall be very grumpy indeed. Oh, well, so he's changed his mind now, hasn't he? Badger's decided he's going to throw them a party every year. Oh, that was such a nice story. I like that one. The end.